Today's November 20th. Pastor is saying to us, we are ministers of reconciliation. Our opening scripture comes from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18. And all things are of God, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation. In the New Testament, you would observe that the word minister is copiously used. It's however important to note that there are three Greek words from which it's translated. The first one is dolos, which is like a servant or a slave. Paul sometimes called himself a dolos, a bond servant, a slave or servant of Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 1 verse 1. Then another Greek word for minister is euperitis, which refers to the office of ministry like we find in the story of the conversion of the Apostle Paul on his way to Damascus. During that conversion, Jesus said to Paul, For I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister, and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen. Acts chapter 26 verse 16. Jesus appeared to Paul and called him into an office of ministry. We also find the same word in 1 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 1. Let a man so account of us, as of the ministers, Eupirites, of Christ, and stewards of the mysteries of God. However, the third meaning of the word minister is the one every Christian has been called into, diakonia, Greek, which refers to a person who serves, like someone who is a waiter. In Acts chapter 6 verse 4, it was used to describe the ministry of the word, but we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. We all have the responsibility to be servants of Christ, servants of his message and of one another. You have a responsibility to be a witness for Christ, to deliver the gospel to other people. God has made you a competent minister of reconciliation. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6 of the New International Version. So, Go wild for the Lord. Open your mouth and declare his word of salvation boldly anywhere you find yourself. He's counting on you. Please say this prayer with me. Thank you, Father, for counting me faithful and worthy to be a minister of reconciliation. I'm passionate about the gospel, and I preach it with boldness to everyone in my world catapulting sinners from the domain of darkness into your kingdom of light. In Jesus' name, amen. For further study, please read 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 1 to 2, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 16, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6 of the Amplified Classic. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read James chapter 3, verses 14 to chapter 4, verses 1 to 12, and Ezekiel chapters 22 to 23. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read 1 John chapter 5, verses 1 to 21, and Daniel chapters 5 to 6. Rhapsody of reality.